Good evening, and welcome to Thy Dowry. Some associate devotion to Mary with more typically Catholic countries, such as Italy and Spain, but in actual fact England was historically a very Marian country, before the iconoclastic tendencies of the Reformation all but suppressed this popular devotion. Looking at the songs and poems of medieval England, most notably Chaucer, together with a proliferation of shrines and churches dedicated to Our Lady, we can see her prominence in the country's spirituality. We even find this in the number of academic institutions that bear her name. For instance, no less than four Oxford colleges were dedicated to her, two of which have survived to modernity as Oriel and New College, while the public schools at Eton and Winchester also started off as St Mary's. This focus on the Blessed Virgin explains why 14th century preachers singled out England as somehow belonging in a particular way to Mary as her dowry, the dowry referring to the contemporary practice of a mother holding on to a certain amount of property from her son in case her husband died. In the same way, England was viewed as in some way specially given to Our Lady by her son, due to its preeminence in devotion to her. The phrase gained official recognition when in 1381 King Richard II consecrated England to Our Lady, with the Latin phrase, Dos tua virgo pia hecest, quare rege Maria. This is thy dowry, O pious Virgin Mary, for thee to rule depicted in the famous Wilton Diptych in the National Gallery. Of course, with the Henrician Reformation in the 16th century, when King Henry VIII was excommunicated by Pope Paul III for attempting to place the Church under his own authority, founding what is now known as the Church of England, much of this tradition was lost. But Brecchis and Catholics held on to their distinctive Marian spirituality in defiance of the Protestant establishment, so much so that in 1893, 43 years after the restoration of the Catholic hierarchy in England and Wales, Pope Leo XIII spoke of that wonderful filial love which burnt within the heart of your forefathers towards the great Mother of God, to whose service they consecrated themselves with such abundant proofs of devotion that the kingdom itself acquired the singular and highly honourable title of Mary's Dowry. This is the history behind the 1381 dedication of Richard II that our bishops renewed earlier this year with their 2020 rededication as an invitation to us all to entrust ourselves to Our Lady's maternal care. The videos on this channel are designed to help you to understand and live out that personal entrustment to Jesus through Mary, for the greatest possible glory of God. So please do like, subscribe and share if you find them useful. Let's close as always in prayer, with the words of Cardinal Wiseman's famous prayer for England. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our most gentle Queen and Mother, look down in mercy upon England thy dowry, and upon us all who greatly hope and trust in thee. By thee it was that Jesus, our Saviour and our hope, was given unto the world, and he has given thee to us that we might hope still more. Plead for us thy children, whom thou didst receive and accept at the foot of the cross, O sorrowful Mother. Intercede for our separated brethren, that with us in the one true fold they may be united to the Supreme Shepherd, the Vicar of thy Son. Pray for us all, dear Mother, that by faith fruitful in good works we may all deserve to see and praise God, together with thee and all the saints in our heavenly home. Amen. God bless you.